Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Well, last time we just started the game, we got Link rocking and rolling, we met Marin and Terran, we found out we're on Koholand Island after Link's ship uh, shipwrecked, and apparently to get out of here we have to wake a creature called the Windfish. Alright, and now we're here at the Tail Cave. Uh, we got the Tail Key last time to open it up, so let's head inside and see what we got. Here we are in level one, the Tail Cave. So, the so this game uses uh, this game uses uh, levels like the first Legend of Zelda game did, level one through nine. So, all right, let's go. We want to start by heading to the left, and we got these things here. Well, to defeat these things, what we need to do is just knock them off there. And for doing that, we get a key. Yes, in this game we get keys, just like every other Zelda game. We get keys. There we go. And we get the compass, yeah. And the nightmare. The nightmare must be the boss. Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and we get a guardian acorn. Nice. I like it. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so, uh... There you go. And the Zelda secret tone is... Is all alive and well. Yeah, see how there's that thing? That means there's a key in this room. There we go. Now, by defeating the enemies, unfortunately, they didn't uh, spawn. So, therefore, we just do this. And we key. Very good. Okay, let's see. All right. And we get a small key, which opens a locked door. Let's it this way. We this keys again we want to defeat. Go. Ooh, nice. Another chest. Ooh, and we get the map. At last! Three screens in, we get the map. Yeah, we can see what we got here. So that's cool. And we can see what the map looks like. That's very good. All right, very good. Now, we don't want to go up that way yet, because you see how there's a little uh, panel there? What that means is Link can go through that way, but we can't come back. And we don't want to quite go through there just yet. So we just want to keep making our way going this way and over here. Okay, be careful, we got these cracks in the floor. Good, yeah, I got those cracks in the floor. If you step on them, you fall down. All right, very good. And let's go through here. And ooh, kind of like, looks like a Moldorm from the uh, from the original Legend of, or from Link to the Past that you had to defeat in the, up the top of Death Mountain. And 20 rupees, very good. All right, very good. Now let's go this way. Let's go over here. This way. Dang it. And what we can do now is you have this thing that just goes back and forth, but if you push the tile, haha, it can't get you. Okay, let's go through here. Alright, so now we want to go this way. What's that up there? I believe those these are these bubble things that can take your sword if you're not careful, so. I'm gonna watch for them. You remember those from the original like game? Oh yeah, you remember those things. Okay, now what do we have here? Huh. That's kind of interesting. There you go. We just push that block, and we should be good to go. And through here. Oh boy. Now to defeat these things, we have these little spike beetles here. So what you want to do? Yeah, bump it with your shield and knock it upside down. Boom! There you go. And that's how you defeat that thing. Okay, let's see. Now we want to go down here. Oops. Down here. And what? Are those Goombas? Now there's two ways you can defeat Goombas. One is you just use your sword. You can also step on top of them like a Mario game, which I think is kind of funny. Dang it. Okay, I lost my guardian acorn power, but that's fine. All right, now let's head up this way. Hey, hmm, there's a heart piece there, but I can't jump and get it. Hmm, interesting. There we go, and we just bypass them, and for opening this chest, we get the rock's feather. Yeah, and what can we do now that we have the rock's feather? You open a sign of the view button, 
Yeah, now Link can jump in the air. Yeah, that's going to make life a lot better. Very, 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 very good. Terrific. Now we want to make our way back. Let's see if I can show this off here. Yeah, so you can jump on him. I think if you jump on him, you get a heart piece, possibly. Yeah, so you can jump on them and get a heart piece, and then you kill them regularly to get a... Uh... Oh, damn it. <laughs> that was stupid. I did not mean to do that. What I meant to do was that. Yeah, now we can easily make our way back. Yeah, see that? Now Link, he's like a ninja, man. He can just jump all over the place. This is terrific. Okay, good. Now let's go this way. Now there appears to be a key in here. But it's in this chest. Yep. Very good. And we can open a locked door, which is nice. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to go? I think I've already been up here. Hmm, interesting. Well, we can't do anything about that just yet. Let's go through here. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice piece of power. That'll work. Sweet. Now you see how there's this door right here? Well, this is, uh, if you go to the other side, that's where that uh, door was that uh, Link can only go through that one way. So, that's how that works. Yeah, I can whoop all kinds of ass now. Okay, let's see. Okay, oops. Okay, we want to go this way. Oh, damn it. Oh, I lost my piece of power. Crap. Oh, yeah, okay, these things. Now, what you wanted to do here... Yeah, they need to all be the same. So, so what you want to do is swing your sword. There you go. Swing your sword. Uh, we got a stone beak. Very nice. Now, if you go here. Yeah, so it, it, it basically just gives you some secrets on what you can do there. Uh, by the way, what you want to do for those card enemies is just... Their pattern is all the same, and they have to all uh, be the same suit. So just line it up, swing your sword a second before you get to the suit that you want, and you can take them down, just like that. Okay, I need to be careful. I'm getting a little bit low on health here. Jump! Very good. What the? Yeah, this, this, this thing is pretty easy. You just jump over it. Kind of go to town on him. There we go. And defeat him pretty easily. Ooh, and I get a fairy, which I very much need. Now, what this thing does right here, if you jump on the warp portal, basically, if, if you defeat a mini boss, yeah, it basically warps you back to the start. So that can be pretty helpful if you want there. So that'll be very, 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 very good. Okay, but let's keep on going. Yikes. Okay, so you see there, we've got this uh, big key there. So just like other dungeons, you got to find the big key, and then you can open it up. So let's go down this way. Hmm. Not a whole lot we can do here. Interesting. i going to remember that for a little bit later there, Beaches Universe. Okay. Now, let's see... I don't, oops, I don't think I can, yeah. Yeah, so we need to, I need to go find the nightmare key, which I haven't been able to do yet. So let's go see if we can do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I know where it is. I think I made a mistake earlier. I forgot to go and get an item. Yeah, because I believe that's where the nightmare's key is. But to get there, I think I need to... If I remember correctly, wait, wait, huh? Okay, hold on just a second here. Let me let me get my bearings all straight here. Okay, I remember what I'm supposed to do now. Sorry there, Beastie's Universe. Sometimes I get all mixed up. And I know I need to get up there somehow, but to get up there, yeah, we just take this upper pathway here. All right, very good. Yeah, this is what I want to do. And yeah, so sometimes there's key blocks just like that. You can just use a... A block there. Now, there we go. Now we've got the Nightmare's Key. Now we can open the door of the Nightmare's Lair. Very good. The, night the Nightmare is like the boss. Okay, let's have this guy. You always want to defeat every enemy just in case there's a, a 
secret or some rupees. You just never know. This Zelda games are full of secrets, as you all will know. Oh, and I need to get some desperately need some hard containers. Okay. Now we're gonna go and take on the boss there. Okay. Oh, get out of there, Link! Damn it. Yeah, you wanna be careful with your jumps, because sometimes you can. Links, the controls can be kind of finicky sometimes. Okay, very good. Now let me take a second before we head into the boss room. Okay. So let's get ready to head into the boss room. Uh-huh. All right, let's do it. Ah, but see, sometimes he can knock you down. And when he knocks you down, you go down here. See how that works? And then back up. So it's just like other previous Zelda games. How that works, so. Oops. Okay, so let's give that another shot. All right, and this guy is not very happy to see me. There we go. So what I do is just stand here. There you go. And he's that easy. Oh! After defeating him, we get a heart container. And in the magic room we get... Woo! Looks like there's a... Is it like a violin or something? The Full Moon Cello! Swamp, a, pla a path opens in the blooms. Interesting. And now we're warped to the outside of the dungeon. Terrific! Hey, the owl! Uh-huh. Right. Oh, I see. Wait, how do you know? Wait, 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 wait. who instructed you? Goponga Swamp up north. Terrific! All right, and now we are ready to go. Let me take a second, and then we'll check my time and see what we're going to do next. Okay. Well, they said that we need to go north to Goponga Swamp. Well, the best way to do that is to return to the village from where we came. Damn it. Return to the village from where we came. So, that's what we're going to do. We're trying to head back towards the village. Whooping some ass as we go. Because, again, you want to try and save up for that... Uh, for that uh, shovel there. By the way, did you notice that the full moon cello played the same melody as Marin was singing earlier? Keep that in mind. Okay. What the? What happened? What happened? The Moblins came to the village. Oh no! Which house? They did something to Bow Wow's house. Oh man! All right, you kids, get out of here. Oh boy. Disaster struck. Of course disaster struck. This is a video game. Okay, well let's find out what happened. It, Bow Wow's gone. What happened? What happened? Oh, Moblins, they took Bow Wow. Oh no. That's terrible. We gotta go save the dog. Alright, well let's go see if we can save this dog. By the way, I believe those always spawn hearts, so if you need them, go that way. Okay, let's see. Let's go this way. Let's head to the mysterious wood. Okay, we want to go, let's see. This way. We gotta go find the lair of the moblins. Up this way. And I believe we want to go over... This way. Let's see. Oh, wait, I want to go this way first. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a guardian acorn. Cool. Man, this thing's got bows and arrows, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, just try to find some stuff there. All right, go this way. And... Oh, wait a second. I gotta 
tried to come here earlier. Yeah, I think I might have gotten all screwed up here. No. Um. I think I'll. I want to feel like I. Yeah, I want to feel like I made a mistake. In fact, I'm certain I did. Fortunately, Link can jump over some stuff to make things easier. This way, let's see. There we go, that's what I want to do. And we get a piece of heart. Fantastic. Great. And okay, in here, yeah. Okay, now we want to go this way. Alright, very good. What's this? Oh, interesting. And if we go in here. Aha! Let's get rid of him. Let's go. And fortunately, we can take down these things pretty easily. By the way, this is the Moblin hideout, in case you haven't figured it out. Whoop all kinds of ass. And this cave is pretty straightforward. What the? An assassin? Uh, I've never been called. Great. So what you want to do is just have him charge at you. Go charge, pop your sword, hit him with a sword strike. He goes down pretty easily. Yeah, so this shouldn't take too long. There you go. Man, I didn't realize Link... I don't think Link's ever been called an assassin before. I'll take it, though. Boom! Get that... If we go here, we've saved Bow Wow. Terrific. Fantastic. All right. And what we want to do now is now we've got Bow Wow. But what can Bow Wow do? Well, you're going to see what Bow Wow can do. All right. Let's see. Okay. Let's go through here. And now what we want to do because we actually want to, believe it or not, we're not going to quite return Bow Wow just yet. If you try to return Bow Wow, they say, well, why don't you go take him out and play for him, play with him for a little while? Yeah. Bow Wow, when he gets mad, he can whoop all kinds of ass. He can just destroy enemies. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I can't, I know, I can't look at the There we go. Yeah, look at Bow Wow go. Now go this way. And through here. Okay, now let's go through here. Who's this? Uh huh. And this is right! Hey, remember that guy for later. We'll be dealing with him soon enough. Okay, I don't think there's anything up here of use. Look at Bow Wow, he's whooping all kinds of ass. I like it. If you go up here, oh, we can get some rupees. Joy! I can't do anything with that just yet. But I'll take the rupees for sure. Right, watch out for those like likes. I think they can steal your shield. Just watch out for that. Okay, Bow Wow, if you do your job, please. Come on, Bow Wow. Fine. You're not gonna do anything there. I'll take Guardian Acorn, very good. By the way, these things, the Guardian Acorn and the uh, Peace Power do something randomly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Well, remember how we said we need to go to Gabongo Swamp? Well, it's initially impassable. Keep out except Bow Wow. Well, guess what? We have Bow Wow, and now he can eat all of these flowers, which is fantastic. Okay, let's see. All right, very good. 
I only want to get- Oh! You gave me a piece of power. Sorry, I was just checking my notes there. And I had looked away for just a moment there. Yeah, look at Bow Wow go. Yeah, he can do- he can eat anything. Look at him go! Ah, now notice what we got here. But that's not what I'm looking for. It is eventually, but not quite yet. I want to start by going down this way. There we go. Thank you, Bow Wow. Now we can open this chest and get 50 rupees. You're very nice. A cook good. they strong on plow. But more importantly, come on, Bow Wow. Thank you. And if we go in here, we get the entrance to level two, the Bottle Grotto. But what awaits us here in the Bottle Grotto? Is there another instrument here that we can find? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.